ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. It's time for us to polish our hidden blades, pull up our hoods, and return to the world of Assassin's Creed. The first game was fun, but repetitive. The second gave the series a major step forward, but lost its footing after a couple games. So is Assassin's Creed 3 another major step like 2, or just more of the same like the latest adventures? We're here. You again play as Desmond, as he continues to fight in the internal struggle of Assassins versus the Templars. A devastating event will happen unless Desmond and company can stop it. How do you ask? By climbing back into the Anubis and reliving ancestors' memories, which is the answer to everything in this series. This time you play as Connor, a half-English, half-Mohawk Native American living during the events of the American Revolution. The game takes place in the Northeast, in cities like Boston, New York, and the uncharted countryside. As you fight for revenge and further the revolution, you come across a history book's worth of famous Americans, including Washington, Adams, Franklin, and more. One thing that I can say about the story and the game itself is about the sheer size of everything. The story is long, detailed, and in-depth, just like the locations and environments. To give you an idea, I didn't get to wear the white robes and really start the game until four and a half hours in. It is definitely one of the longest games I've played in a while, which is one of the best compliments I can give. But size doesn't just relate to the story. The game takes place across multiple cities and areas. The main cities of Boston and New York are absolutely huge, but there is also your local town, which you build up through trade and progress, and an entire immense frontier that is yours to explore. There is really just so much to do, from hunting, collecting, upgrading, and even naval combat. The combat has seen some major changes, with new combos and brutal kill moves. But it is, for the most part, the counter-dodge attack system, but now with tomahawks. And the climbing can now take place in the forest using the trees, which makes for some great platforming. In fact, some of my favorite moments were just climbing through the trees, hunting animals, and just exploring the absolutely beautiful environments. Don't lose sight of For one, some of the missions are not as forgiving as previous games, where here, one mistake results in an endgame. This just makes you replay the same areas and hear the same conversations over and over. And you now have to pay extra attention to your notoriety meter, because the guards will more quickly pick a fight. Assassin's Creed 3 may not be a revolution for the series, but it is a very solid entry and could easily be called the best in the series. The story and gameplay are both very impressive, with both offering plenty of bang for your buck. Bloody hell are you! Ah! 